In this video, we will discuss how to set up the terminals in your Blaze Retail shop. A terminal is where an employee can process sales in either the Blaze Retail iPad or web app. They are treated similarly to cash registers. Before setting up specific terminals, make sure you assign the shop terminal type in the shop information. Instructions on how to do that can be found in the fourth shop information video. To access the terminal section, select global settings at the bottom of the left navigation bar. Once the screen is loaded up, select current shop settings and then terminals. As always, please look to the top right corner of your screen to ensure you're making changes for the correct shop. In this screen, all of the terminals that have been created for this store will be displayed. To create a new terminal, select Add Terminal at the top right corner. When selected, a blank row will appear at the top of your terminal list. In these boxes, fill out the name for the terminal, the assigned inventory, and the checkout type. A quick refresher for the checkout types. First is Direct. This is designed for orders that are prepared, fulfilled, and checked out by the same employee. After this, Fulfillment is designed for orders that have two employees processing an order. One prepares the order while the other fulfills and checks out the order. Fulfillment 3 step is designed for orders that are prepared, fulfilled, and checked out by three different employees. After you've completed these steps, toggle the status button. To the right means the terminal is active and to the left and white means it is inactive. Once you've finished this row, select Save to save any changes you've made. If you need to edit a terminal, select the blue Edit button and make your changes. Deleting a terminal is as simple as selecting the red Delete button and confirming the deletion. Please note, a deleted terminal cannot be retrieved. A quick tip. Blaze advises assigning employees their own terminals named after them for organizational purposes. Once you've created a terminal, it's time to assign it to your employee. In global settings, select Manage Employees and All Employees. In this screen, select View to the right of the employee you'd like to assign a terminal to. In here, choose Edit and scroll to the very bottom of the screen. Right above Notes, click the Assigned Terminal dropdown and choose the terminal you'd like to assign to this employee. Once selected, scroll back to the top and click Update. This will save the information you've just entered. This concludes your training on terminals. Thank you and have a great day.